Hi, and welcome to our 71st test and measurement video. Today, we'll continue our demonstration of the Tektronics RSA 306B PC-based spectrum analyzer connected to the Tektronics RTSA V3 demo board. Previously, using this connection, we viewed a CW signal displayed in the frequency domain. Now, we'll look at power measurements with markers. It is feasible to measure the power of a modulated signal without setting up a channel power measurement. We can use SignalView PC to perform integrated power and power density measurements by means of power markers. When measuring signal density, the signal will be seen to resemble noise. Measurements are performed at 1 Hz bandwidth. Accurate results can be achieved because the selection of power measurement markers automatically switches the trace detector to average RMS. To do these measurements, the RSA306B spectrum analyzer, the, and the PC with signal view software installed, and the RTSA V3 demo board are connected in the usual way. The dual end of the Y-type USB cord is connected to the two USB slots in the PC, and the single end is connected to the demo board. The purpose of this unusual hookup is to provide ample current for the demo board without stressing the PS PC. Then another USB cable is run from the PS PC to the RSA 306B module. This cable carries data in both directions. Finally, a BNC cable is run from an RF adapter at the module to the appropriate demo board output. That completes the cabling. What remains is to configure SignalView PC software by means of PC controls. The basic demo board settings are the same as in our previous demonstration for the CW signal in Test and Measurement Video 70. Press the On button in the demo board. LEDs throughout light up, indicating that the demo board is prepared to output signals to the connected RSA 306B spectrum analyzer and through it to the PC. Set the reference to internal. Set the run mode to free run. Click the row and column buttons to select OFDM to determine the demo board output. This completes the procedure for configuring the demo board. Now, we'll return to the instrument. Double-click the Signal View PC icon on the desktop. Click on the gear graphic to display the settings control panel. Click Maximum Span to extend the spectrum range to its maximum possible extent. Start and Stop frequencies will align themselves. Set the resolution bandwidth at 1.0 kHz. This determines the fast Fourier transfer form bin size, which is the smallest frequency that can be resolved. This improves selectivity at the expense of sweep speed and update rate. The only difference is that we use the row and column buttons to change the signal type from CW, which stands for continuous wave, to OFDM, which stands for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. This is a very popular method that is used to encode digital data on multiple carrier frequencies. We'll see it in wideband digital communication, including such diverse applications as digital television, audio broadcasting, DSL internet access, 
wireless networks, power line networks, and 4G mobile communications. Many closely spaced orthogonal subcarrier signals exist as par parallel data streams or channels. With the demo board settings now completed, as in the previous video, click the stop button to pause the measurement. Then drag the marker reference denoted by MR on the left side and marker 1 denoted by M1 on the right side of the OFDM spectrum. Click the Define button in the marker settings. Within the marker property tabs in the readouts dropdown, select Power. Phase noise can be measured by setting the delta marker to decibels hertz. Advanced power measurement and ACLR, adjacent channel leakage power rate, can be done in the channel power and ACPR display. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.